Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to encrypt SQL database. So this video has two parts. The first part is only about database encryption and the second part is about how to restore the encrypted database on another server. So before we begin, we have this document from Microsoft on TD encryption. And if you scroll down, we have the architecture for encryption. So only the database level items are user configurable. So in this architecture diagram, the blue boxes, they are at server level and the yellow boxes or the orange boxes, they are at the database level. This is what I'm going to show you today. So it's a four step process. The first step is creating a master key. The second step is creating a certificate. The third step is creating database encryption key. And the last step is alter database, setting the encryption on or off. So these are the four steps. So let's begin. For this demo, the database I'm going to use is Technology. So the first query I'm going to show you is to check the status of the database. Need to remove the comma. So my technology database it is not encrypted everything is null so next step is creating the master key the query to do that will be this So master key has been created. The next step is creating a certificate. Certificate also has been created. Now to check if any master key already exists, I copy this query, I paste it. So I see two of those, a service master key and a database master key. So what we created here was a database master key. So what is service master key? Now if we go back to the Microsoft document I showed you, this step it shows service master key which is at the server level and we did this. Now to check if the certificate has been created, we run this query the first eight are the default ones and this is what I created so we are done with step one creating master key we are done with step two creating a certificate now step three is creating a database encryption key and protect it by using the certificate so the query for that will be this. I have my database name. I'm using the algorithm encryption algorithm AES256. I'm using the certificate my server cert which I created in the previous step. So it's just a warning. telling me to back up the certificate which I have created so in your environment in your production environment it would be as advisable to back up your keys so now once again let me check the status of my database So it shows tech knowledge encryption state 1. So what is encryption state 1? There is another document from Microsoft. So encryption state 1 is unencrypted. So it's still not 
encrypted so the third step was creating a database encryption there is one more step to go so let's go to our query so we have one query for enable encryption let's copy this let's paste it here so it is alter database technology set encryption on okay so i have a error message error message states take a log backup and retry the command so right click task backup i'm fine with the default location okay now enabling the encryption command successfully executed so let's check the status once again so technology encryption status 3 so once again what is 3 encrypted we are done my technology database is encrypted so this was my part one of the video please watch my next video on how can we restore this encrypted database on another server since my certificate is here there are steps to back it up and move it along with the database and then restore it on the other server so this was in my today's video if you found this video useful please like this video if you have any questions please leave the comment below Thank you so much for watching.